I looked at Instagram and saw RJ posted something very inappropriate. He was sitting in a hotel room, throwing up the middle finger in a mirror. Do you remember we sat down and met with that really nice lady from Human Resources at the Dodgers and you signed a whole bunch of stuff? One of the things you signed was a social media waiver saying that you cannot post anything that would be in any way, shape, or form detrimental or inappropriate to the Los Angeles Dodgers. You have to exercise some self-control. You're now in the workforce and you represent a corporation. Why would you risk it just so you can sound like, what, you're cool? Because I look in the other world, and that's why I want to be every. I want to be somebody else. Like I just want to be. I want to be the normal kid no more. I don't want to have autism anymore. I don't like I hate people saying they have autistic. I hate people saying that. I don't like it, and it really bothers me. I want to be a normal kid like everybody else, and I just want to be have a fun life and have fun. And that's all I want to do. I don't want to be the stupidest kid on the planet. And everybody. RJ, do you, do you, you trust me, right? Yeah. I don't see you as someone with autism. I see you as someone who has a job and who needs to get to work on time mm -hmm. and needs to work hard, mm -hmm. get home, get, your, get, get some rest, and then get ready for the next day. Now, what part of that is, do you feel like you have autism? Tell me, do you feel like you have autism? No, I don't. No, not at all. RJ just wants to be like everyone else. Does he want to, to post obnoxious things sometimes? Yeah, he's, he's still a teenager. And I think it's great that he's learning from it. That's the biggest thing to take away from all this. You're such a great example of what can come if you work hard enough. And, and I get it, that part, maybe you don't want to always listen to it, but we can't help but look at you and be like, wow, my son or my daughter can work and have a, and have a job and be good at it. And that part, you're gonna have to deal with, because you did it. So when people see you, you're not, you're not autism. You're someone who is moving on with his life. Yeah, you're right. Mr. Lee dropped the mic. He did drop the mic again. All right, we're good, go. Okay. It's such a blessing to have Mr. Lee. Mr. Lee has such an amazing way with RJ. He's so good with him. I just, man, everybody needs a Mr. Lee.